Hi guys, my name is Saria. Welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber. And if you are new here, maybe you're coming from one of the other channels in this Hercules collab, welcome and I hope that you will subscribe and stick around. So today's video, as I've said, is a very special video because it is a collaboration. You guys know I love collaborations. <laughs> um, so this collab is Hercules based specifically. So basically, um, we were reached out to and then we were asked if we wanted to be a part of it. And of course I was like, yes, I'm so in. Um, and so I will have all of the ladies that are a part of this collab linked down below. Um, so that you can go check out their Hercules videos. This is a very different collab because in the past pretty much I've only collabed with like Disney based YouTube channels and a few of these channels are actually not Disney based. They are like um, makeup or fashion or a little bit of everything <laughs> um, but they all have a love for Disney that's kind of the commonality so um, please go check out their channels they're all really wonderful girls and I'm subscribed to all their channels so I mean there you go. <laughs> In today's video, I will be showing you how to make these ears. Um, obviously, those of you who have seen my channel before, you know I love making Mickey ears. I do it pretty regularly, but um, this pair I'm particularly proud of because they are so cool. <laughs> um, this is no sew, so you don't need to know how to sew to make these. It's all hot gluing. You guys know I love my hot glue gun too. Um, and so I'm basically going to show you guys how to make these Meg, Muses, I won't say I'm in love inspired Mickey ears. Um, if you can see them, they do light up and have the silhouettes inside of the Muses and Meg and then I put white flowers on the crown to um, emulate like that flower that Hercules gives her. You know what I'm talking about? So sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you guys a close up and then I'm also going to give you a what they look like with the lights turned off and guys, they look so good. Like these in the park at night would be amazing just saying <laughs> as always if you guys have any questions or comments leave them below for me and if you have any requests for future videos please do leave them below I love looking at those and often I do take your guys suggestions especially if you're kind of just wanting to know how to make something um, if I can figure it out you will get a video for it <laughs> Okay, to start off, you're gonna need these silhouette adhesive cutouts. I use my um, my silhouette cameo to cut mine out. If you don't have a silhouette or a Cricut, you could still do this with paper. It's just obviously gonna be a little more time consuming. And then you're gonna need some fabric like this. This is a sequin fabric from Hobby Lobby. The reason um, I like this one is because it doesn't look see-through, but it is when you put light behind it. You will also need a one inch headband. And some of these, um, plastic ornaments that like come apart if that makes sense. I will have everything linked in the description box below for you guys. Um, these are four inches in diameter and they um, have to come apart like this in order for this to work. I also got these flowers. These were the best ones that I could find that looked exactly how I wanted them to look. It was a $5 stem at Walmart. As always, I advise y'all to check your local Dollar Tree because it is cheaper, um, but they just didn't have exactly what I wanted. And then you will also need a strand of LED lights with a very small battery pack. Again, the ones that I purchased are linked in the description box below. And then I got this trim from Dollar Tree. It's just like a mesh um, seat, like gemstone trim and you can trim it down to one, two or three um, width, I guess. <laughs> So start out with your ornament and go ahead and open it up and then take your first cutout. My first cutout is Meg with the flower. And then I'm taking this clear transfer paper and I'm just going to trim it to be the same shape and size as my Meg cutout. I'm gonna go ahead and peel back the transfer paper and then press it firmly down onto my decal. That's what that word I was looking for, decal. <laughs> Um, you can get these for a couple dollars on Etsy um, if you don't have a silhouette or a cameo, um, if you want to purchase them instead. 
So go ahead and make sure that the nub on the ornament that you have is kind of uh, toward the middle because you're going to want to hide that in the flowers. Obviously you don't want it on the very top of the ear because you'll see it. And then firmly start pressing down your decal starting in the center and then working your way outward. If you do get a couple of bubbles just be really patient, press down really firmly with your hand and you'll be able to work them out. So now you're going to take your LED lights and my LED strand had 20 bulbs on it so I'm um, rolling it on my hand in half. So I wanted 10 bulbs on this roll for the first ear. So I'm going ahead and putting them into the ears and you definitely want to roll it and then test out how you like how it looks. Meaning put the, the ball of lights essentially into the ornament and then lay it down on the table, grab your fabric and place it over and just make sure you like how it looks. Because you don't need to do this next step but you can if you want to. I wanted my lights to stay exactly where I put them and if you don't do this next step then they will wiggle around inside the ears. It bothers some people, or I assume it does, and then it probably doesn't bother some of you. So if you don't want them to move at all, then take your um, wound up strand and then put a little bit of hot glue on the top and firmly press down where the wires are. I did not glue down where a bulb was, just where the plain wire was, and then I did the same thing on the bottom of the ornament. and then I put my ornament back together. You're not gonna wanna firmly close this. Obviously you have the wire sticking out of the ornament. You're just gonna wanna take your hot glue gun and apply a little bit of hot glue on that nub and then around the rim of the ornament. This is what's gonna make sure that the ornament stays closed as opposed to firmly trying to clamp it down onto your wire, which is obviously not good for the wiring. <laughs> So now that your ornament's closed, you're going to go ahead and cover it up. So I took my other ornament, the one that I hadn't used yet, and I'm just going to trace a circle around it, but you wanna make sure you leave yourself um, some space. Do not trace the, the ornament exactly because it won't fit. You need a little bit of give with your fabric. And then go ahead and cut it out. You're actually going to need four of these, so if you want to cut them all out at the same time, you totally can. And these don't need to be perfect because you are going to go back and trim them up. My first one was super wonky. Um, my second one was much better. <laughs> so put some hot glue on the rim of the ornament and then press down on the fabric. I'm about to get back in frame so you can really see this. Um, <laughs> put another line of hot glue and then just press down the edge of your fabric. And you're going to do this all the way around the ornament. Making sure that you're pulling it pretty tight and just firmly pressing down with your finger. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Um, some of my subscribers have pointed out that I can like directly touch hot glue and it doesn't bother me, which is, pr which is pretty true. So just make sure that you are careful. And just work your way around the ornament. All right, and then you are going to repeat these steps onto the back of the ornament. So do the same thing, cut out a circle of fabric and hot glue it down and then you can trim off any excess fabric that you don't want. So now you're going to go in with your trim. You can do this before you attach it to the headband or after. I did it before with the first one and then I did it after with the second one and I think I prefer doing it after but just in case let me show you how I did it. So I just did a really thin line of hot glue and then um, tapped down this trim around the the edge of my ornament. Um, the reason that I have the lights turned on is because I wanted to make sure that I was really covering up the seam between the two fabrics as precisely as I could. And then cut off any excess. I did leave this little extra bit of the strand not glued down because I realized that once I glue it onto the headband, I might have gone too far or not gone far enough. That's why I said it probably is easier to do it after it's on the headband. So now I'm going to show you guys how I cover up the headband. I don't usually cover up my headbands and I kind of regretted doing it with this one, but I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> so um, just put a little bit of hot glue on the end of the headband and then you're going to put a line of hot glue on the outside and press it down to your fabric. And then I actually take my fabric and stretch it all the way to the other end and then attach it to the other end of the headband before working the inside of the fabric. If you want a more um, slowed down version of how to cover the headband, in my very first ear tutorial, I do show you guys how to cover a headband a little bit more precisely. So I'll have that linked in the description box below if you're curious. But then just go in with your hot glue gun and start pressing it into the center of the headband. Mm -hmm. 
and working it all the way around. So once I got to this part, um, I had a little bit too much excess fabric, so I just continue pressing down the center, but going down the center of the actual headband. Then I'm going to go in with my scissors and trim up all this fabric that I don't need. So now that you've trimmed up the fabric, just go in with your hot glue gun and press down any parts that you might have missed or need to touch up. And then this is what it should look like when you're all done. So now you're going to go ahead and attach your two ears. Uh, by the way, the second ear I didn't film so that this video wouldn't be 45 minutes long, but it's the exact same concept as the first one. The only difference is that the second ear will have the wire coming out in two spots. That's why hot gluing the ear, the two sides of the disc together are very important instead of trying to clamp it onto the wire. So I usually place my ears about two and a half inches apart from the center of the ear. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. I have gotten to the point where I can kind of eyeball it, but if you want to watch some of my previous ear videos, I do go more in depth about placement. And then apply a generous amount of hot glue to the bottom of the first ear and firmly press it down onto the ear. I did hold this down for a very long time to make sure the hot glue totally dried. I just cut that part out so you guys wouldn't have to watch it. And then do the same thing on the other side. And you definitely want to hold them in place while they're drying because that is what's going to give it a really good attachment. Then take your battery pack and make sure that the screws are facing upward. This way, if you want to change out the batteries, you will still have access to them. And then wrap the excess wire around your battery pack before gluing it down. You do have a couple lights in the center of the ear if you can see that, but it actually ended up looking really, really pretty with the flowers. So now I'm just going in and putting the trim onto the other ear that I hadn't put trim on yet. Um, this is definitely my preferred method. I would do it after you've attached the ears, not before. And then clip off whatever you don't need. And now you're going to go in with your flowers. This is the easiest part and probably the most fun. So um, I pulled off all the flowers that I needed and I just put a little bit of glue on the stem. By the way, I do not pull um, all of the stem off of the flower. I use the stem as like a way to apply the glue well. And then I kind of like lodge it around the ear. This also reinforces your ears. If they're a little bit wobbly, um, just make sure you put some flowers on the sides of them and stuff and it will really reinforce them to the headband. And then I just flipped it over and continued on the back. And then you are gonna wanna put one flower in the center probably to cover up your battery pack, just to make sure it's not viewable from any angle. And now you're all done with your awesome light up silhouette ears. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will pop over to the other girls' channels. Again, they are linked below in the description box. Um, yeah, head over and see what they did for this collab and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.